Is the State Hospital at Carstairs the most misrepresented institution in Scotland? Almost certainly. The public perception is of a dark and dangerous place. The word notorious almost always accompanies its description. Perception is that the State Hospital is a place shrouded in intense secrecy, a prison for men who have committed the most horrific and frightening crimes imaginable, and where very few have any chance of ever being released. In 1936, building began on the present site, but due to the Second World War, it was 1948 before it was released for civilian use. Mainly patients that had a mental illness or were intellectually disabled came to the hospital, and by the late 1960s, there were over 400 patients. Our clinical research showed that many patients did not need high security, and across Scotland, a network of medium, low and community forensic services was developed to allow the safe management and testing of patients. The major change within the state hospital was a move from custodial to therapeutic care with a focus on risk management. The hospital would contain its patients and then often as a secondary element offer treatment. Major changes usually came about as and when the Mental Health Act was revised and as with all changes these were implemented very slowly. By the 1990s the state hospital became part of the NHS in Scotland becoming the sole provider of specialist, high, secure mental health services for patients from Scotland and Northern Ireland. Improving and modernising services for patients continued to be a priority, and in 2008 construction commenced to rebuild the State Hospital and create an environment fit to support the care and treatment needs of patients. The new hospital was officially opened in 2012, providing the skills, culture, rehabilitation ethos and physical facilities necessary for patients with high secure care needs. The hospital is one part of the wider Pan-Scotland Forensic Network and was the first health board in Scotland to become smoking free. It's time to debunk the myths about Scotland's state hospital, Carstairs. Multidisciplinary clinical teams work with patients to deliver therapeutic approaches to care, treatment and rehabilitation. They do a difficult and challenging job, caring for a group of very ill patients whom society often does not understand and they do it with great compassion. Many come from deprived backgrounds with high levels of abuse. State hospital patients are male, in their early 40s, with a primary diagnosis of schizophrenia. Some will also have an additional history of antisocial behaviour and substance misuse. Adverse events in childhood and poor physical health are common. Patients receive treatment in high security because of a serious event and the risk they pose to others. One quarter have committed a homicide. Patients are admitted from court, prison and other NHS hospitals. Patient offences tend to be linked to their mental disorder. For example, someone attacks their mother because they believe she's been replaced by the devil. Hearing voices is common in patients with schizophrenia and often causes distress. The hospital aims to rehabilitate patients, ensuring safe transfer to appropriate lower levels of security. This is not a secret institution but more needs to be done to change perceptions of forensic mental health in Scotland. Patients, not prisoners at the hospital, are entitled to patient confidentiality, just as anyone else receiving treatment within NHS Scotland. For the last 20 years, Scotland has been host to a remarkable turnaround in treatment success. Around a quarter to a third of patients move on from the state hospital every year, having displayed a reduction in risk, violence and symptoms, and having a detailed care and risk management plan. Experts in other countries are learning from our experience. It's time to tell the new story of Scotland's State Hospital. A story of challenge, of hope, of compassion, and of growing success in healthcare and treatment delivery.